Guys, uh, YouTube channel again. Welcome back. Um, continuing with my swarm or my spring management uh, videos, I wanted to show you another way uh, that I manage my bees in the spring, depending on the situation. You can see here that I have a hive with a deep, a medium, and a deep. So a few years ago, I decided I wanted to try this out. Uh, Brushy Mountain sells a kit that comes. Uh, with you know a deep and a medium in any case what was going on here was going into winter that was just these two hive bodies and so about a week ago i went into the hive and i noticed that the bottom bars on the medium here there were some swarm cell cups no eggs in them yet but they're getting ready to, they were getting ready to swarm so one of the one of the easiest methods of swarm control and spring management, which is part of swarm control, um, or I should say swarm control is part of spring management, is to just give them more brood. So swarms are caused by, by congestion in the brood nest. So lots of bees in the brood nest. The queen has a pheromone she emits, and when it's hard for the bees to detect that pheromone, they decide that they're getting too large and they need to either swarm or supersede the queen based, based on when the season is, uh, on what the queen's activity is. So what I did here was about, I don't know, five days ago, I just put on, I just simply put on another hive body full of foundation. That expands the brood nest. Now bees can go up in there, build the comb, and then lay eggs. So also getting bees up in here relieves the congestion down here so it's it's an effective swarm control technique uh, the downside is is that every time you put a box on the bees are going to fill up what space they have that's going to probably happen up to about four hive bodies when the amount of comb in there exceeds the the amount of eggs that a queen can lay over a 21 day period which is as long as it takes for workers to hatch out, uh, there's going to be so much, so many cells in there. She can lay, let's say, 2,000 to 2,500 eggs a day at the maximum, and there will be more cells in there for her to do with four hive bodies uh, than she can handle. So once you get to that point, the hive can't really, you know, it's limited by the number of eggs a queen can lay in a day. But to have a hive, four hive bodies high, which would be about here, and then super them, your hive is going to, uh, it's gonna be hard to manage that. So it's also, you know, I, I keep my hives in double deeps over the winter. So that's plenty of food for a hive to have over winter. So the reason I did it on this hive is I'm, eventually I'm going to move this above a queen excluder when the nights get warm enough let the bees hatch out and then I'm going to remove it and I'm going to turn it into a honey super. But uh, so what I did here was I just put on another high body and I'm going to show you, you know, that they're, they've already started to pull the foundation and the bees obviously are working extremely hard. It's still too cold at night um, to separate a brood nest. So this was the best choice I think in my situation. The doors aren't opened yet because the mice are still running around, but I'll open up this hive and I'll show you what they've done so far. These lids, but this is an eight frame hive by the way from Brushy Mountain. These lids look very nice, but they're heavy, hard to get off, and uh, you know, they're very thick. And then my biggest problem with these hives is that the eight frames inside just aren't the bee space is incorrect on but you can see there are bees up here and then i'll give you a little shot of the actual frame there's not a whole lot of bees up in here just some pulling some down. This was foundation just five days ago. 
hopefully the camera stays in focus if not I'll give you another shot but you can see that they've pulled that side you know about halfway and they've gotten even further on this side so the bees are up there pulling if they're up there pulling they're not ingesting the brood nest you can also do this with a just you know with actual comb that's not a problem either and that way the queen can actually come up and start laying right away so this is a pretty effective swarm control technique in spring management even if you want if you want a hive to uh, you can use it in conjunction with other methods too so you can you can do this put a put the put the hive up here uh, the hive body up here and then later you can say say this was another hive body and that's how I wanted my system I could later pull it off or pull one of them and split the hive so this is a good early spring management technique when one thing you can do is you get the, the hive to build up rapidly then once swarm season is over you drop them back down and you throw honey supers on them. That's also effective as well.